Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rick. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Hope everybody is having an amazing day. I hope everybody's staying warm. If you're from Chicago or around this area, man, let me tell you, it is freezing outside. I know I've been saying I wanted winter for a very long time because that way I can just, you know, relax, chill, have some hot chocolate, but this shit is fucking ass. But the last time I checked, I'm not a weatherman. I don't know why I'm talking about the weather. Today, we're going to be talking about some news that came out last night, some actually insane news so if you guys can make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe smash the hell out of both of those buttons if you have not already and let's get into the video most of the people that are watching this video right now probably already heard this news but for those of you that have not let me just let you know x defiant is shutting down the call of duty killer the game that was supposed to destroy change whatever you want to call it for call of duty is now shutting down in June. I'm going to put Mark Rubin's tweet here for everybody to see. He is the executive producer of X Defiant. That way you guys can read what he has to say about the game, why it's shutting down, all the info. I don't need to read all that for you guys. It's a pretty long ass tweet that I feel like most of you guys have probably already seen if you're following all this stuff on X, but if you really want to read it, just pause the video. There is no way in hell I was going to read all that shit. So I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to probably ask me, Rick, what are your thoughts on X Defiant shutting down? And let me tell you, I'm going to be honest with you this is actually very very bad news for all you boneheads out there that don't know how to understand why this is bad news i'll break it down very easily for you call of duty has been dominating and i'm talking about dominating the fps gaming industry for 15 16 17 years there was and still is zero competition for call of duty to compete against but all of a sudden x defiant came out of nowhere and everybody was thinking this game could have some potential this game with no spmm all the stuff they were promoting could possibly flip the script for call of duty to make call of duty even better because as you increase competition as you increase every single day these companies would have been battling it out to see which game could top the other what would that end up doing well that would mean that almost every single update would have something just different something to increase the gaming experience for the average consumer these companies would find different ways they would work their fucking ass off to try to make their overall game different from the other game because that would be the only way to stand out and standing out is a good thing competition is a good thing thing now let me make something very clear i am not an x defiant fanboy i did not like that game whatsoever i had a two-day honeymoon phase with it and that was it it was chalked bye bye out the window although i bitch about the net code and the desync and the terrible servers in call of duty right now let me tell you when i was playing x defiant that shit was just a whole different story just overall, I did not enjoy the game. I felt like when I was doing good, I was, yeah, having some fun destroying the lobby, but what was I fighting for? There were no kill streaks. There were no nukes. As a basic ADHD pub stomper, I wanted to have something that I could work towards in game. All I was doing was just obviously trying to win the game. There was nothing else for me to do. And to me, overall, that just got boring. I got annoyed from the freaking special effects because, again, I'm not really into that stuff where you could put a freaking shield in front of you. Put a little spider ass thing to go jump on your face and annoy the enemy. I'm not a fan of that stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That's just not my style. So yes, of course, I did not like the game. But does that mean I want it to die? Does that mean I want it to go away? Fuck no, I'm not stupid. Here's a great tweet from Exo Ghost, And it kind of explains what I was talking about. But it also brings SBMM into it. It says, if you think about it, this is the worst news in the FPS genre. This game was marketed as having no SPMM, skill-based matchmaking. That was one of the selling points. Now FPS corporations and players will be convinced that strict skill-based matchmaking is healthy for the game. We are doomed. I couldn't say it any better, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely nothing is going to change. Doesn't matter how many times I bitch. Doesn't matter how many times these top content creators bitch. SPMM is going nowhere because now there is zero less than zero competition companies games whatever you want to call it that will compete with call of duty with zero spmm so yet again call of duty is just running free doesn't matter there's nobody to compete it's kind of like a monopoly they can do whatever they want they control the fucking game it is what it is it really is a sad sad time you got 177 people being laid off because of this decision nobody should be celebrating that i understand people didn't like x defiant i didn't like it myself either 
But that's 177 people with families, sons, daughters, wives, husbands, all of that now officially having to look for new jobs. It sucks. It's terrible. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but let me tell you, there's only one reason why this game is actually going down. X Defiant was just not good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings if you were an X Defiant freak. This game was shit. Let us not forget just how the game was launched in itself. We had the beta, which was fine. Everybody enjoyed the beta. Everybody played the beta. They had a good time playing something different. But then month after month after month with no release of the actual game, everybody was waiting. The hype was there, but no game. And about a year later, if I'm actually correct, the game releases and what changed? Basically nothing. The first beta felt better than the actual launch of the game. It felt like they did nothing really different. So everybody was confused why it took so long. They missed their window. They absolutely messed it all up. Their perfect time to release this game would have been during Mario Warfare 2 2022. That game was shit. The Call of Duty community hated it. That right there would have been the perfect time for the game to be released. But no, something was going on behind the scenes. I'm not 100% certain. I'm not an X to fight fanboy where I know all of this information. But all I do know is they waited too long and that affected them because when Modern Warfare 3 came out, the game felt good. It felt fresh. Yes, it wasn't everything that we needed as a Call of Duty community, but it was 10 times better than Modern Warfare 2 2022. So when you put that new game in and then you get X to find, I believe a month later after MW3 was launched, you're going to have less people playing X to find. That's just how it naturally is. If people are having fun playing MW3, using the new guns, the new movement, the new adjustments that Activision put into that game, why do you think they would maybe all of a sudden go to X Defiant? Of course they're not going to X Defiant. They're going to do exactly what I did. I'm going to play it the first day, the second day, maybe the third day, and after that, once I realized how shit the game was, I'm not going to touch it ever again. I touched it maybe one time. One time after I played it the first weekend it launched, and after that, I was done. It was boring. It was not fun to me. Yes, I understand it had no SBMM. That's the only reason I was drawn to possibly playing it. But overall, the game was just not fun. The game was not there, and that is exactly why it is getting shut the fuck down. It sucks, man. It sucks for the company. Sucks for the people at the company. Sucks for the FPS gaming industry. But we need to understand... If there's going to be a game to compete with Call of Duty, it's got to be better than X Defiant. It's got to put more work, more effort into the game than that bullshit we dealt with there. The game just didn't have it. From my opinion as a Call of Duty player looking into X Defiant, all they really pushed to me as a Call of Duty player was that it had no SBMN. Other than that, they didn't really try to connect me, a Call of Duty addict. They didn't try to connect me into possibly going over there to play their game other than just saying, there's no SBMM, guys. That's not going to hook me. You didn't have kill streaks. You didn't have anything else. The movement felt clunky. The fucking Neko was absolutely terrible. Just was not fun. And that's why it's getting shut down. I would love to know what you guys have to say regarding this issue, regarding X Defiant. Is this good? Is this bad? I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.